Delete the club. Delete the club. I want everybody out. Fire everyone. Everyone pack their bags. You're all unemployed. Everybody. From the hierarchy to the management to the playing staff. You're all unemployed. Take yourself to Indeed. Go and queue in the streets. Find a new job. That is how I feel. We've drawn to Sheffield United. 2-2. Away from home at Bramall Lane. After taking the lead twice. Twice. This is becoming so repetitive that I am actually amazed by it. I'm not even angry anymore. I'm amazed. I think it's actually quite impressive what we're doing. It's beyond shocking. It has never been done before. We are a disgrace to the league. We are a disgrace to the country. We are a disgrace to the continent. We are a disgrace to the earth. We are a disgrace to the solar system. We are a disgrace. We're a disgrace. If you don't have shame yet, find shame. If you're still making excuses, find shame. I don't even know what the post-match quotes are going to be. But if you have not just apologised to every single travelling fan, then you've done it wrong. We're going to Sheffield United. I don't want to hear about player quality. We've spent... A billion. I don't care what you think of the playing squad. You must win. And you must make it look comfortable. They have a minus 52 goal difference, Pochettino. Minus 52. Back-to-back -back weekends, dropping points to bottom two teams in the league. These are teams that have been preparing for the championship since 2023. They have been packing their bags, making sure they have their passports. And they're not even leaving the country, but they still check and make sure they have the passports. We are a fucking disgrace. We're a disgrace. And I said against Manchester United, if you don't beat Sheffield United, it is null and void. It is pointless. We have to go to every game and play like as if it's our last game. Because we cannot be trusted. We cannot be guaranteed nothing against nobody. It doesn't matter who we're playing. Whether it's Leeds, Leicester, Wimbledon, Man City. We are exactly the same. Back and forth, end to end, carnage, chaos. That starting eleven was a fucking disgrace. The way that we started the game was actually okay. But the way that we manoeuvred and managed the game was a fucking disgrace. We had no left winger today. It was Gallagher. We had no right back. It was De Sassi. Why can't you call up someone from Cobham? Who actually plays the position? Who has some dynamism? Who has some athleticism? Who has some quality to bring to the team in the final third to link up with the winger? Why did you have to play a centre-back? Why do we play three centre-backs and still concede two goals? Why do we bring on height in Badi Ashul and Cassidy to shithouse a 2-1 win and still concede in the air? Still have pinball? We still are not winning the aerial duels. With the two, the two tall players coming on that stand over six foot, we're still, we're still losing headers. How does that make sense? The whole first half, we're playing with no left winger. We've got Gallagher out there. Ridiculous. Jackson's doing up hold-up play. He's doing it very well. He's missed an opportunity from a cook or air cross. He should have scored at some point today, but he's holding up the play, linking up things okay. Cole Palmer wasn't at his brilliant best. He, he, he's, he's contributed today with an assist. We scored from a corner. Thiago Silva sweeps it in like a striker. We're 1-0 up. After playing pretty well, controlling the game. I don't think Enzo was very good today. I have to get that in immediately. Enzo was not good enough today whatsoever. If I had a Lavio or an Okachuku or someone to bring on off the bench, I would have had them on inside like half an hour. But we are 1-0 up. We're, we're playing to a level where it's, it's, it's acceptable. It's not brilliant. It's not inc incredible, but it's, it's acceptable. Go on now and kick on and go and win the game. Go and control and, and, and dominate proceedings. Go and show your talent. No, 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 no. We don't do that around here. Now Sheffield United have to get back into the game. Now there has to be this pinball machine. Back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Like this is the NBA. Like this is basketball. 
Now, Sheffield United are getting confident. They're growing in the game. They're getting stronger. They're getting better. Brilliant. So now, you've conceded one of the most criminal goals of the season. Caicedo, nutmegged. Kukurel, snooze button. Petrovic, you're not even covering your near post. You are thinking two, three steps ahead of what's actually happened. And sometimes that works. But when it doesn't, oh boy. You thought he was going to cut it back. You thought Bogle was going to cut it back. Well, hold that. Man, stuck it in at your near post and you have to save those. It's an embarrassment. We've signed three goalkeepers and we're talking about signing a fourth. And you know who the fourth is coming in? It's Kepa Elis La Blagla. He's coming in for Real Madrid after getting benched by Lumen. It's a fucking joke. We've signed all these goalkeepers and none of them are starting quality, it seems, because they can't do the basics. I'm asking you to collect crosses. Everything has to be punched to put us under more pressure. I'm asking you to save shots at your near post. People are calling for Sanchez to come back in. He's not good enough either. I'm getting very, very, very tired. How many more goalkeepers and centre-backs are we going to sign before we see some quality, before we see some competence? Or is it just a structure? I have to I have to say, it has to be some part. Pochettino, what the hell is going on with that defence? Are you going to ever fix this? Or is this just going to keep happening over and over and over and over again? Why are we conceding shots? Why is even Petrovic today, with, with the mistake that he made, he still pulled off a world-class save? Had to. Why are we going tooth and nail with fucking Sheffield United? Why? Why? I need answers. Because it's, 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 it's unacceptable. I can't fathom what's going on anymore. It doesn't make sense. My mind is doing hoops, doing loops. Poopity scoop, bruv. Kanye West, this is the level of, of quality that I'm talking about. We used to be good morning. We used to be legendary, bruv. Now it's poopity scoop, bruv. Now people will be asking questions right now. Are you okay? Like mentally, are you actually okay? I'm starting to sing songs in watch alongs. I'm starting to, 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 to kind of like kind of look like I need like a, a doctor. I need to see a doctor. You know, I, it's getting like a medically concerning situation for me. Physically. Then we go back in front. By the way, no ch no changes at halftime. Pochettino is a fucking disgrace. Yeah? You saw the first half. You have Carni Chikomeka you can bring on to play in the 10. He's going to do much more than... Um, well, Palmer's playing in there. You could, you know, but you can put Carni Chikomeka on. You can even play him off the left. He used to play on the left earlier on in the season. And then he can drift inside. But at least then, someone for Palmer to connect with. Right? You could at least do that. Madaweke has shown to really be better off the bench recently than starting. He wasn't good until he got his goal. But that was basically in the 60th minute when he would come off the bench. And this is when he starts to improve, when players start to tie up. But you could have brought him on. You could have, you could have done so much more. You, you, you play a right back, man. Back four, uh, away to Sheffield United. Play fullbacks. Play. We don't really know Kukurea going forward is not that great. Play a fucking right back. Please. So we get the second goal. Madaweke scores. Individual brilliance. Palmer assists, but it's really on Madaweke. Cuts in, gets the goal, roofs it. At this point, again, I'm just... Get get me to the end of the game because I'm not enjoying this. This this game is low quality and it's like... It's just it's just sickening. It honestly is sickening to watch. That we're struggling and it's a real graft and a huff and puff and a blow your house down, bro. Against Sheffield United. So please spare me the BS. Even with the three points in the, in, in, in that moment... I was ready to lock it all off. I was ready to lock off the whole game. Mentally, just disconnected, physically drained. Ugh, just get me out of here. Get me out of here. I don't want to watch this shit any longer. But no, Chelsea can't just be boring, get to the end. I don't know how Gallagher doesn't come off today. He takes off Palmer, brings on Carney I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to hope that the reason why he did that is because Palmer got an absolute disgusting challenge on him. Should have been a sending off. Tried to, tried to injure the poor guy, going in sideways. You know, studs up, bang, straight, clattering into him. Thankfully, he looks okay. Maybe he's trying to save him from that. I don't know, right? But he take he, he, somehow Gallagher doesn't come off in this game. I think it's for energy to keep it going, you know, the intensity. Brother, on the ball, this brother should have been off the pitch, right? But he leaves him on. He brings on Mudrick, he takes off Madaweke. So I'm seeing at this point, you're trying to defend the 2-1. You're not trying to get the third. You're not trying to get, you know, comfortable here. You're trying to, okay, cool. You better, you better win. You better get out. Nope. Concede. Second goal goes in. I don't know how many headers we lose in this in this goal, but it must be minimum five. It is a madness. 
for a team with the Sassy, Chaloba, Badia Show, Cassidy, all of these guys standing over six foot, not a single header one. Just pin, ball, bop, up, down, bish, bosh, bang. Get me out of here, bro. End the season. Everybody pack up your shit. Find yourselves new jobs, bro. It's raps. Raps, 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 bro. Unbelievable. And this is the lack of consistency that I keep speaking on. I hope we can get European football. I hope we can catch teams. But the reality is, is there is no consistency. And it's not going to come this season. It's not going to come in these last few games. We are where we are for a reason. It's because sometimes we win and sometimes we lose. Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be shit. And the sometimes may be good is not even a good game. It is a good 10 minute or 15 minute or 20 minute max and then capitulation. So just spare yourselves and start to come into these games with versatility and variety as a fan. You don't want to come in with the same emotional charge every game. You don't want to come in with the same burden carrying on your shoulders. Oh, can we do this? Can we do that? Come in with the comedy. Come in with the laughter. It's better to laugh than to cry. At this point, you need to understand where we are. You need to understand that this team is collapsed, bro. The manager is moving like an absolute... Ugh, I don't even want to speak... This manager, I, I just don't understand that you go to Sheffield United, you don't have any sort of aggression or attacking impetus in you. Like, please play players in their position. Why are we playing with no right back and no left winger? I'm repeating myself. I, I just, I can't be asked. Guys, please, just smash up the likes, just subscribe, and just go and have a nice time, bro. It's a long day. We knew that we needed to win this game, and we didn't. So, we move to the next... No consequences are going to come from this. At this point, I don't even care anymore. The season is long. The season is finished. And we're ninth. We failed to take advantage and close the gap on Newcastle. It is what it is. We lose, we move. Welcome to normality again after a very wild win against United, guys. Big up your damn selves in a bit, people. Peace.